Hi everyone, welcome to AllergySmart.net. My name's Aaron, this is episode 31, and today I wanna to show you the Anna Pen. So for years and years, the only form of adrenaline pen that you could purchase on the market was the EpiPen. However, in the last couple of years, since uh, around September in 2010, the Anna Pen uh, came onto the market, and I thank Sabrina from uh, Link uh, healthcare for uh, supplying me with a, an uh, Anapen trainer and some uh, Anapen related information so that I could bring it to you. Uh, what I want to do is just show you how to use the pen. Um, for those of you who are familiar with the EpiPen, uh, you'll be able to see the difference, spot the differences. But uh, for today, I'm going to be uh, describing the Anapen. So we'll take it out of its packet. Anapen comes in uh, two particular doses one for uh, the juniors and one for adults. Um, I will point out to you that uh, if you do, and everybody who has uh, anaphylaxis should have an action plan, the action plan that your uh, allergist will supply to you will be uh, specific to your particular uh, adrenaline device that you'll be using. So if you're going to be using the Anapen, you'll need to make sure that you have the Anapen action plan. If you're using the EpiPen, you'll have the EpiPen action plan. Right, yeah, let's go through it. Here it is. Here is the Anapen. So uh, as you can see, it's, it's, um, it's a pen type uh, shape and it has uh, instructions on how to use the pen. Um, this is a trainer pen and I recommend that uh, you always get yourself a trainer pen uh, so that you can show friends, family, as well as the children uh, or adults who'll be using it um, exactly how to go about using it. Uh, so this is a, um, a very simple device to use, as they all should be and are, um, and uh, it's a very simple procedure. Uh, I always like to tell people that when they do use uh, an, uh, an adrenaline pen, that they uh, grab the pen in the hand that they are uh, more uh, strongest in. So I'm, I'm a right-handed person, so I'll grab it in my right hand and form a fist around it with the... Uh, end that has the arrow on it with the black end that's the needle end so it actually says needle end on it you have the needle end down towards the bottom because you're going to strike this into the upper thigh of the individual so what you have to do here is take the black cap off the end and then put that aside and then still grasping with the hand so that you're not turning it up and down you can take the gray cap off the top which is a little clip off the top you'll be able to see there's a red button on the Anapen. And then it's simply a case of putting it into the thigh at a 90 degree angle. And this particular device uh, is, an, is a, uh, a push button device. So you don't actually have to jab it. You place it onto the thigh in its proper position. And then you reach up with your thumb and then you click. You'll hear it click. You push down on the red button. That's injecting the adrenaline into the individual now. So that'll go on for 10 seconds. You've got to hold that on there for 10 seconds. Once the 10 seconds are up, take it out of the individual and then massage the area where the needle was. To dispose of the needle, you'll need to put the cap back onto the device and you're done. And that will last for uh, approximately 15 minutes uh, before uh, more dosage might be required, uh, similar to the other adrenaline, uh, any other adrenaline that you might be using. And that's the Anapen. So something to think about, that uh, if you haven't used the EpiPen uh, before, there's an Anapen now. Uh, I believe the Anapen has a two-year shelf life. And um, yeah, it, it's, it's quite good. They did a study in comparing the, uh, the usage of Anapen uh, with, I think it was nursing students, usage of Anapen and usage of EpiPen. And uh, they trained them in both and then came back, uh, I think it was uh, 14 days later, came back and interviewed them uh, to see if they could uh, remember the correct usage procedure uh, for both. So it's an interesting study, uh, one that uh, I'll link up underneath the, the show notes. Uh, quick show for today, that's it. Talk to you again soon, bye.